Hello, hello, we are back for another edition of Virtual Church. Here's Kitty Marie. She's excited about it. Are you? Let's start with a worship song. Let's play I Just Gotta, a game where we guess people's reactions to different situations because they just can't help it. Let's start with Jenna. Whenever I'm given broccoli, I can't help it. I just gotta ask for more. Broccoli! Refuse to eat it. No! Stand up if you think Jenna asks for more. Sit down if you say she refuses to eat it. And the correct answer is... Refuse to eat it! <laughs> this is Rob. Whenever I see a bug, I can't help it. I just gotta run away from it. Ah! Keep it as a pet. I shall call you Steven, and you shall be mine. Let's go get you some pants. Stand up if you think Rob runs away from a bug. Sit down if you think he keeps it as a pet. And the correct answer is... Keep it as a pet! Steven, you're the best pet ever. Here's Kelly. Whenever I see a clown, I can't help it. I just gotta throw a pie in his face. Scream because clowns are really freaky. Stand up if you think she likes to throw pies at clowns. Sit down if you think clowns make her scream. And the correct answer is... I just gotta throw a pie in his face. This is Ronald and Maggie. They like to watch baseball. Whenever we watch a ball game, we can't help it. We just gotta yell, yell at, at the players. players. Come on, huh? Yeah, that was a strike. That's a lousy call. Start, Start our, our own game. game. Stand up if you think they like to yell at the players. Sit down if you think they like to start their own game. And the correct answer is... We just gotta yell at the players! He was out! That's ridiculous! That's it for today. Till next time, thanks for playing I Just Gotta. Izumi! He is a ball python. And these are some fun facts Zoomy, look at the camera. These are some fun facts about ball pythons. Ball pythons are actually from Africa. Isn't that cool? And I love Africa. Zoomy is a constrictor. So see how he wraps around my arm, right like that? He loves to be a bracelet, silly little guy. 
and he loves to just hang on because in the wild, he would go up trees, he would go through brush, and he would be able to hang on to everything. They are so, so cool. If he was really scared, if Zumi was scared, he would make a ball. And that's why they're called ball pythons. Right now, he's used to me, and he is sticking his tongue out all over the place because that is how Zumi smells. He doesn't have a nose. Did you know that? Snakes do not have noses, and that's how he smells his surroundings. See his little tongue? He's so cute. Did you know that Zumi is two and a half years old, but he will actually live to be 30 to 60 years old. He'll be a grandpa snake. And he'll live a really, really long time, especially in captivity. And captivity means that he lives in a house. Zumi likes to eat about every week to two weeks. And he doesn't eat what you eat. He likes to eat rats. So, so long as you don't smell like a rat, you're pretty good in Zumi's book. He isn't going to bother you or try to strike at you. Oh, Zumi, where are we headed? Where are we going here, Bubby? He really wants to get down. All right, big man. Okay. So... Did you know that mommy ball pythons can have six to 11 eggs? Isn't that a lot? What if your mommy had six to 11 kids all at once? Whoa, mom would be going crazy, wouldn't she? And did you also know that not all ball pythons are this color? They can be all different colors. They can have different patterns. Isn't his pattern neat? But he could have all different patterns and colors. And did you know that you could even get a ball python that's yellow? Isn't that neat? He can't get around with legs, but he gets around with his 10 to 15,000 muscles. In his body, he has 10 to 15,000 muscles. Can you believe that? That is so many muscles. So many. And that's what he uses to get around. Did you also know that in a human, down your back, feel on your back. Do you feel those bones? Well, Zumi has those too. He doesn't seem like he would have bones, does he? Because he's so wiggly squiggly, but he does. Right here, he has bones all the way down to his tail. And you have bones down your back the same way, just like Zumi. His are really bendy though, aren't they? And do you know that a human has about 33 vertebrae in their back? Did you feel yours? Do you feel those little bumps? He has those too. Do you know that he has about 200 to 400 vertebrae. Whoa! So when dad complains that he has a bad back and that his back hurts, can you imagine what Zumi feels like when he has all these vertebrae? That's a lot, isn't it? Way more than a human. That's a lot of vertebrae. Here, Zumi, let's go this way. He is just wanting to play. He is just wanting to play like crazy. There goes his tail. It's going to wrap right around me. See that? And he's hanging on all by himself, trying to explore and see what's around the room. Zumi has two lungs, just like you and me, to help him breathe. And I can feel them when he's still. I can feel them. Well, hello. Hello. I can feel them breathing right inside of him. There he comes. There you go, Zoomy. Say hi to the kids. Oh, he's going right over top of the camera. You silly. You silly. There, he says hi and he's trying to smell you. He says, you smell funny. Because <laughs> remember, he smells with his tongue. So you might be thinking, or your parents might be thinking, oh my word, why did she have to show us that snake? Well, because Zoomy reminded me of a lesson in the Bible. When a snake grows, their skin does not grow. So basically, a snake takes off all his clothes and takes off all his skin. So one day, I went to see Zumi in his cage, and all of this was in his cage. He decided to take off all his clothes. And if you see right here, it's just a circle. He just shimmied right out of it. He took off all of his clothes. And then he didn't have anything on anymore. And he's, it's calling, called shedding their skin. And snakes will always do this when they grow. This helps take, if they were in the wild, 
take all the parasites and the bacteria and things that get on the snake. It's God's way of cleansing them. So they take off their skin and they have brand new, beautiful skin right underneath. And what's so neat about this that I never knew, this kind of feels like plastic, boys and girls. Feels like a shopping bag. Hear that? Isn't that weird? It just feels like a shopping bag. And when you come back to church, I'll bring this in so that everybody can see it. But this reminds me of God's salvation. When we're old enough to understand what sin is, then we need a saver, <laughs> a savior. Has anybody here ever sinned before? I have, I have. What are some sins? Can you name a sin? Right, lying, stealing, cheating, disobeying our parents, um, not listening. Oh, there's so many different sins. There are so many. And basically, sin is what we do that's against what God wants us to do and what we're supposed to do. So jealousy is a sin. But the Bible says that for us to be with God, we cannot have sin. Now what? How do we do that? We ask God to forgive us of our sin. Yeah, that's right, boys and girls. We have to ask God to forgive us of our sin. And I think that Zumi reminded me of this very special verse in the Bible. It's called 2 Corinthians 517. And it says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away and behold, all things become new. So Zumi showed us how old things are passed away. And that's how our life should be when we get saved. When we ask Jesus into our heart and when we ask him by prayer to forgive us of our sins, then we are a new person and we don't do our old things anymore. We don't hang out with the people that maybe had us do some things that were wrong. Or maybe we tell those people about Jesus and how we could be new and have a new life in him. So boys and girls, I want you to think about that. Do you have a new life in Jesus Christ? Do you trust him and do you follow him? Are you new? Have you asked Jesus to forgive you of your sins? Talk to mom and dad. Maybe they would like to pray with you today to make sure that you have asked Jesus to forgive you of all your sins and that you can be all new, clean, and white as snow. Thanks for visiting. Guess what? God loves you and wants to be your friend. John 3.16 says, God loved the people of this world so much that he gave his only son so that everyone who has faith in him will have eternal life and never really die. You can't be friends with God because of your sin. Ecclesiastes 7.20 says, Not a single person on earth is always good and never sins. What is sin? Sin is doing or thinking something that God says is wrong. God made a way for you to be his friend. He sent Jesus from heaven to earth to take the punishment for all of your sin. Just knowing about Jesus is not enough to fix your friendship with God. You need to admit you have done wrong things and you are truly sorry. Believe in your heart that Jesus died for you and that God brought him back to life and commit to following Jesus as the leader and Lord of your life forever.